basically a couple years ago, all my friends were telling me, you need to date a mask. I was like, oh, for God's sake, like, mm. I don't want to, mm. okay. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work, like, does it? You've tried, dated, you want to, but. I dated like the most mask, like I went on a date with the most mask person I could find. Mm -hmm. I ended up strapping her. <laughs> oh. Like, I don't think people are understanding how strong my energy is. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Hi guys, and welcome to episode 131 of the Two Twos podcast. I am Nana. And I'm Ro. And together we are Two Twos. Two yes. If you're watching, obviously you can see we have a guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so good at that. <laughs> After 131 times. Yeah, I know, yeah, I yeah. mean, you know, you know. I sent someone episode 22 today. I was like, shit, we've had loads. Oh we've my God. That's weird. One. Right, yeah. It's very, very weird to think back. But yes, we have a special guest in the building. Ooh. Now, usually um, we, we would like to introduce, but I don't even know half the things that you do. You do a lot of things. So let the people know. And all of them. Don't leave out anything either. I hate this bit and I'm really apologise in advance for my awkwardness. And also I'm sweating because I just ran. Um, you look great though. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. This, is, this is your time to thumbs up on the video. Yeah. My name's Teddy Edwards and I run Lick. Yes. I know you do. What the amount of times yeah, we spoke about Lick on this podcast. Yeah. yeah. The, I feel like if you've got a pound for every single time we've I know, because I watch them, I think, are they going to say anything bad? Or yeah. no, 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 I mean, you, there's a... Uh, you keep it quite reasonable. Yeah, I yeah. think we do keep it reasonable. Yeah. I, I, think, I think one of the worst things we said is that the little baby's in there these days. Yeah. We'll get into that. Anyway. We'll oh, get into, yeah, we'll, we'll get, get into it. it. We'll get into <laughs> it. But yes, yeah. Tell us all the other things you do. You can't leave all the other I things out. I have just hosted a BBC free show called The Big Proud Party Agency. Ooh. I've just done a BBC One show with my ex called Unbreakable, but we broke up before it came out. So okay. A bit embarrassing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, it's, um, oh, it's been out. Really? Really? I need what you said. It's mortifying. Yeah, I need, I need that. Yeah. It's yep. absolutely the most mm -hmm. mortifying thing I've ever done. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do a few bits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's so interesting about like the breakup stuff because, you know, it's been breakup season and like when you are in the public and you have a relationship, it can be kind of mad. Like, because yeah. you show, you put all these pictures up, like, yeah, we're going to be together forever. And then. Yeah. Do you know what? Let me ask you this. How do you feel, yeah, putting up pictures for a long amount, whatever amount of time? Yeah. And then they're gone. How do you feel when you put up someone new? See, I don't usually take anyone off. My Instagram mm. was an archive of all my relationships. Yeah. And then the girl I was dating recently made me take them all off. Oh. I don't care. Mm -hmm. oh, do you know I'll, what? I'll take their tags off. Yeah. So they don't get new girls through me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about deleting them completely. No, I'm like, like that. Or back in the day, mm. I used to leave it as well. I, used to, I had like two followers, so I used to just leave it. <laughs> and then, but now, after, after my last relationship, I, I untagged myself. <laughs> they're gone I mean our pictures leave from airport <laughs> <laughs> for five years <laughs> yeah yeah five mm -hmm. years yeah and but I was I was thinking to myself because I'm not somebody who not some people that like to do all oh, private life whatever whatever I don't care like I like no, to just post my thing you know I don't like I don't I don't care it happened people yeah, yeah. Happened, so what's the point pretending it's yeah, true exactly it's true. exactly yeah. so I was like you know what I won't be the, I'm not the first person to go for a breakup yeah, I'm gonna be the last, be the last. Yeah. but ideally don't do a show with them called Unbreakable <laughs> Yes. That would help. This yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to watch it this week. Can you tell us a this bit about the show, actually? Um, so basically, it's like six couples. So there's like Denise Welsh and her husband, oh. Shirley Ballas and her boyfriend. Uh -huh. And then basically you do like loads of different challenges. And it's kind of like the battle of... Oh, that's interesting. Oh. Who works it. the best? Yeah, ever. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I was going to say, ask a question, but no, no spoilers. I'm going to watch it. What did you want to ask? Because now I want to know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just gonna work. It's I'm embarrassing. Work That's all you need to know. Oh, yeah. man. All right, cool. So, Lick, let's get to Lick first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To anyone who doesn't know what Lick is, most people do, but there are some people in America who are not sure about Lick. And also, some of them are coming over here. So, I was gonna ask you, maybe you should ask us afterwards because I don't know if you know the, when your next Lick is gonna be, but I need to take them out when they come. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be here from, for most of December up until early Jan. And they asked me to take them somewhere where it's queer people. Obviously, Lick is not just for queer people, but. I'm bringing them to Lick, so. Mm -hmm. So you can come for New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, New Year's. <laughs> oh. We're doing it. You've done it there before. I went to the venue and they were like, oh, we've had your event here. Um, oh, what, um, Toka Social. Oh, Toka Social. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Our last did. event was at Toka Social. Yeah. Yeah. I used to the whole venue. Yeah. 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 Nice. It's a good venue. With like private booths and stuff. So yeah. we can bring you in ours and then you don't have to worry about being surrounded by all the like. 
Yay. <laughs> I, was gonna say, we, we, I was gonna say we need to come back to lick here, yeah, but when we come back, we need you to show us whether our age whether are. whether olders are. Yeah. Yeah. We need yeah. you to take us yeah. to the our age. And the thing is, lick is a good time, man. So I thought yeah. the last one. It's your birthday. That's why we didn't come. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my birthday. Was that the Ruby yeah. Rose one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I, that looked that looked that good. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm, I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I remember at the end of the night, Rose was like, we should have gone to Lick. I was like, mm. Ruby Rose stayed till like six in the morning. Mm. She was having a great time. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah. She had a good time. Yeah. She had a gr- yeah, great time. Great time. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's go from the beginning of Lick. Because I remember the beginning of Lick. I remember the beginning of Lick. Did you used to come at the beginning? Yes. Yeah, yep. And it was on Tuesdays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to go oh, right at the yeah. beginning. And I remember I got a friend called Rama. Shout out to Rama. She was like, oh, there's this new like um, gay event. Um, you need to come as people that I've never seen before. Because obviously, you don't want to see the same people all the time. Yeah. So it's just like, there's people I haven't seen before. Mm-hmm. We, used to go, we used to come every Tuesday. Me and Nana, oh, Rina that. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, we used to come. Good time. Yeah, we came come. back in the day, but I didn't know, like, mm. right at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that was came. very different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. even different. It, it was really different. I remember one time I came with some girl and I picked her up and, like, I to dance and my knee. Is just, that when your knee went out? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yep, that, yep. Was, that was crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. That was time ago. I know. That was actually time ago. But it wow, feels yeah. like, you know, like from that time to where you are now, it feels like it happened pretty quickly, but maybe it didn't. Like we're not in the, we're not behind the scenes. We don't know. Like yeah. how's the journey been? So obviously right in the beginning, I didn't make a penny from it because it was like 50 60 people in a basement in soho and yeah. two pound entry yeah yeah and i just had to wait on the night and see if people would turn up or mm-hmm. not it was so stressful mm-hmm. and the venue would like cancel on us all the time it was just mm-hmm. like nobody wanted to work with us why um i think just like the idea of lesbians in general mm-hmm. and then soho basically had a problem and said that i was bringing the wrong crowd to soho oh yeah, so i have spoken yeah. about this before yeah, but i don't yeah, know yeah, if you yeah. know about it mm-hmm. yeah no you told me before yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so then nowhere in soho wanted to work with us really because mm-hmm. also it did kick off quite a bit back then all right yeah. I, as it, it always does though like it was a lot worse then mm-hmm. i don't know what like mm-hmm. people moan about it now yeah it's nothing <laughs> no it yeah. was worse yeah. i remember there was one <laughs> Yeah, something so there was one. Bad. And the thing is, Rena was with Rena. I'm really just laughing. Me and Rena were just ended up. <laughs> I'm not bothered. No yeah. way. Yeah. No one's getting really. Yeah. Hurt. Like. Yeah. yeah no one's getting hurt. A wig got got. Yeah, the wig was in the roads, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. It ha- I remember that it happens a lot though that there are fights because. I don't, what is it like? Someone stole someone's girl, or like it, there's always that kind of drama. Do you know what it is? Like nobody fights inside the club mm. either. Mm-hmm. Like never. Yeah. They wait until they go outside and then it's like, what True. can I do about True. it? They're like down the street. Mm-hmm. And it's always people that have got like beef with each other before they've come to lick. Yep. It's not like. Yep. But you know, I don't think that's a lick thing. I think it's just even everywhere. before when we used to go out in Vauxhall, yeah. it was the same thing. Yeah. So over the month or whatever it is, you've developed this beef with someone but you're going to see each other. This and you know you're going to see each other as well. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Because where else are you going to see yeah. them? Not, there's no school. There's nothing. So where else are you going to see them? Mm-hmm. And no one's giving each other's dresses either. So when are you going to see them? Yeah. So you, that's where you're going to see them. Yeah. And somebody has to be the bigger person and say, what What was you saying to me? It always happens. It's been it, happening. It has been happening. It, it even day. happens at our event. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's well. a few times we have to pull people and be like, no, you're not doing this here. Like, yeah. have some respect. I think like it's just clubs in general. Mm-hmm. But like, obviously, queer women. Yeah. It's a lot of emotions. It's a lot of emotions. People are pretty messy. It's <laughs> just a lot going on. People are messy. That's what it is. Yeah. There's a lot going on. There's a lot mm-hmm. going on. But yeah, so to talk about from the Tuesdays up to what it is now, like, what made you like change things? Because oh, there's also another thing I want you to touch on as well. That a lot of people say that it went from being a lesbian event to just an all woman event. Mm. Yeah. So like, let's go into that as well. Yeah. So should I start back where I was? Yeah. Mm. So I take like it took about it was we were about three years in mm. and I was still like making no money from lit because it was like reasonably small. Mm-hmm. And my partner at the time actually told me, like, you need to like stop doing it and get a normal job in a cafe. And I was like, okay. yeah, no, because I like I just loved it. I, like, mm. I didn't care about I've never like had money. Mm-hmm. So I didn't care about like that. I just yeah. wanted to do it because I loved it. Yeah. And then. I just randomly was like, I'm going to put the prices up. And as soon as I put them up. They just blew up. Yeah. And then oh, just went from like 50 people to like 300. It used to be two pounds a ticket. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was like, well, I'll pay my two pounds, but I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but people don't appreciate it when it's two pounds. Yeah. Mm. That's crazy mm-hmm. though, because we think that sometimes when we do our events, 
that we need to make it cheaper. Yeah. But you know, what? people are gonna buy it anyway. Mm-hmm. They wanna go somewhere. They're gonna they're gonna these days people pay to go out yeah. all the time. They pay gonna buy their drinks and whatever. We pay to go out as well. Yeah. So because they just we, yeah. people want a space, especially queer people, like they want a space and they don't have a lot of it. So like anytime there's anything on, they're like, Yeah, we're going to this. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. always gonna be good. But did you think from the beginning, do you think it would blow up like the way it has? Oh no, I had no, no clue. Yeah. Because no. like nothing was ever that big before. Yeah. 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 I had nothing to like gauge off of that. Yeah. I just thought like I used to think like, oh, all I ever want is to just like put an event on sale and it sell out in mm-hmm. advance. Mm-hmm. And then that started happening like month after month. And I was just like, oh my God, this yeah. is the best thing ever. Yeah. So that event, after it was like 56 people, then it was 300 people. How did you feel at that particular event? That was the one we did at Pride and Bankman and Miss Banks came. She didn't perform, but we just got oh. her to come. Oh, there. That's the one we were there. Oh, we were there. That's the one where that girl was acting paranoid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I mean, all but we're matching shirts back to the yeah, 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 the floral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. So that was, that was like night. the first much Ooh. bigger one that we'd done, mm. and I just remember looking and thinking, "Oh my god, this is like amazing. Crazy, this is yeah. exactly what I want." Yeah. And then I don't really know what happened. I just like kept getting a bit cockier and being like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> we got bigger, get, get bigger." Yeah. And then we started booking artists and stuff. And yeah. then, what's yeah. the biggest capacity you've had? Two thousand five hundred. That's mad. <sighs> That is a concert, basically. That it's basically crazy. a concert. <laughs> well, even at Electric Brixton, we sell 2,000 tickets for that each And month. you've done it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've yeah, done it a yeah, few yeah, times there. Yeah. yeah, I think the last time I went to Lick, it was there. It was Yeah, most, what, most of the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a good time. That's there. a lot of people still. Although yeah. I'm going to switch it up for 2023, because... Mm. Another venue. Mm. Getting a bit bored. Oh, yeah. You need more. Do you know what? I, challenge I, now, I, isn't it? I like, know what venue you're going to. I know. <laughs> the new one. Yeah. <laughs> I did one there, yeah. and now I don't want to work anywhere else. I feel like yeah. a peasant anywhere else because that oh. venue is so perfect. It's a, it's a lovely venue. I walked venue. in and they treated me like royalty. Wow. wow. That venue, have you been? No, I've heard of it. I heard though. No, we went for um, DLT um, TikTok. Oh, that venue. yeah, you said it's new. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. They have, their cups have handles. Mm. Do they? Yeah. It's well, just a cup they, they give me. It's just a, good, <laughs> it's a nice space. Like, it's a good space. It makes sense. Like, it's you have everything. Well, yeah. It's in the right location. Mm, it's, it's in perfect. the right location. It's perfect. So, is that where New Year's Eve is going to be? Unfortunately, mm, not. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> in the New Year's Eve. getting excited. It's fine. Year. It's fine. In the New Year. So, what about booking artists? I think, I think the first artist that I saw at Lick that, okay, this is really bad of me to say that I, that I hadn't seen before was Young Ame. That was the one, that was the first artist I saw oh, that I hadn't seen before. Yeah. Like yeah. international. Mm-hmm, was yeah. Younger made the first international one? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I can't. I mean, that was before lockdown, Younger May was. Yeah. Wasn't that last lick before lockdown? No, there was Second to last. Yeah, yeah, there was another mm-hmm. one afterwards. But yeah, that one, the Younger May one, when you when you did that one, I said, yeah, man. <laughs> you <laughs> clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. one was insane. Yeah. It sold out like almost instantly. Mm-hmm. And then we had 5,000 people on the waiting list for tickets. What? That is I was bad. like, I can't find another venue bigger. Yeah. That is such nah. a shame. That is crazy. When you contact the like the team of the artists and they say, Yeah, yeah, we're up for it. Like, do you think that like, raw like they actually want to come to my to event? my event? Yeah, I did at the time. Now yeah. I'm more like, yeah, come to no, my event. Yeah, yeah, you need to be there. So there was, Ru- was Ruby was already here? Was it? Did you like have to? No, I flew here? her over. Wow. Listen, level. Yeah, <laughs> flew it out. But you know what? Like we've had a lot of struggles with artists. Like this year, we had Young and May booked again. She cancelled. Mm. Well, she had to cancel. Coffee mm. obviously cancelled. Oh yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah. Ruby Rose. We were meant to have her the month before, and she cancelled. Like. Uh. Yeah, There's so much stress. Well, they that, like, they've got like other shows or yeah, just stuff comes up. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee yeah. was outside. That's crazy. What happened? happened? Coffee was outside the venue. What happened? So it sounds sorry. I don't mean to get deep, but my dad had died two days before, mm-hmm. yeah. and I wanted to like just make him proud and still go to lit. Mm-hmm. Right. So I was like, oh, this is exciting because coffee's coming. She was outside and wouldn't come in and perform. Oh. And I was like, oh, was she coming just knew? to come or was she coming? No, she was performing. So what? What? What happened? Okay. I don't want to like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you get, you like can a probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I could probably be So, what is it like? Do you have like a team? Like, you know, because this is big scale now. No, I do. Ev- well, I do everything by myself, huh? and then on the night, I bring people in, like Stacy, who does the door, and mm-hmm. then obviously the same DJs and same oh. videographers. Apart from that, yeah, I do everything. Mm-hmm. So it's a whole production, and you do it alone. Yeah, and I don't really know how I do it. It's really difficult because obviously there's four of us that do ours. Yeah, and there's four yeah, of us. There's us two, Tayo and Remy. Mm. And 
I think that when you have four people, like, and especially four people that are always busy on time, it's difficult to, like, even get, get shit done. time to get shit done sometimes. Mm. So mm. sometimes more things fall on one person. And but so you I do think, all yeah. have other jobs as well. Yeah, we yeah, do. yeah Whereas yeah, I can I kind of dedicate all my time to this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which I do. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense, yeah. But also, like, I have realised I'm being a bit ridiculous. Like, <laughs> yeah. I've just done Lick in, like, seven new cities. Yeah. Yeah. Go. With- How was that? How does it? How was it different? Because obviously I've only been to Lick in London, so I yeah. just know what the London vibe is. But what is it like outside? Birmingham, the I best vibe. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. I yeah. knew it. Yeah. Like, they're like London is very good vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Birmingham's up there. Yeah, Dublin that was insane. Dublin, wow. yeah. Is it? Oh my god, good vibes. Yeah, just some people have DM'd us. Oh, what event? What queer events are there in Dublin? Yep. Hopefully they went then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Like, but there is such a like a high demand for it because even like when people come to our event, they're like, um, can you do this in Manchester? Can you do this in Birmingham? Yeah. No, like, we're, we're not like, we're not there yet. We're not, we're not there, there. <laughs> we're not there yet. But like it's such a huge demand that people are coming to London and they're asking for it in their city. Yeah, that's true, because I've couple, um, spoken to a few people in it, yeah. And they'll be like, Oh, I'm from Manchester. I'm like, Oh, well, you live do you live in London now? They're like, No, we came for Lick. Yeah, oh, girls come from like Germany, they come Germany, from Germany, like, they come Mads. from everywhere yeah. every month. Crazy. To get to live, yeah. crazy. It's, it's a brand. It's yeah. just a, it's not even just event no more. Like it's a whole brand yeah. that you've actually yeah. created. So I hear that. Like, what's the maddest thing that's happened, like in Birmingham or Dublin or anywhere? Um, well, and are they, are they just as big as well, or they're a little bit smaller out there? Birmingham was pretty big. Mm. Uh, Dublin was about seven, eight hundred people, so big for like a first event somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Birmingham was about one thousand three hundred. Mm, that's still a lot of people yeah that is a yeah lot. for a new yeah. city like yeah yeah don't you think you could do birmingham regularly yeah I think yeah good. yeah but it's a lot but this is what i mean Time. i'm doing everything by myself yeah, yeah. Like, i should yeah. hire someone but mm-hmm. i'm a little bit like you wouldn't have done perfectly yourself yeah i do yeah and people don't do that they don't they thing. don't like and the thing is it's your baby like no one's going to care about it as much as you care about no. it do you know what i mean and you I struggle th- with that yeah yeah it's hard to trust and also i like i don't know if it's because i've got autism but i like notice things mm. that nobody else seems to notice yeah, and yeah. i'll stress out about it all night mm. and no one else will even clock it so yeah. like if i'm not there they're not gonna re- they're not gonna notice it yeah, and I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. How would, how do you, your autism, how does it play? Because obviously, like, it's a really big social environment. Mm. Yeah. And not everybody with autism, like, does well in social environments. So how do you handle all of that? Um, It's probably not the right answer, but I get smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And then I basically works. get too smashed, and then I'm really friendly to people, and then mm, I don't remember yeah. any of it. <laughs> Um, I hear that. No, my uncle I couldn't, I could not do it. it. I could not yeah. do it. Yeah. Because it's a lot of people. Too many people, but it's just good. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not autistic, but I get tired of, of, of people. <laughs> so, so I get, yeah, so I can't imagine. Like, I cannot imagine. Yeah, man. Well, I hide in the back most of the night. Mm. But then I, like, have this, like, anger at myself that I haven't enjoyed it myself. Mm. Like, I've never enjoyed Lick myself. And that's the whole mm. reason I started it. Right. It's literally work. And then all the other events, like, a lot of them I can't go to because they, like, for some reason start beef with me. Oh dear! So then, when you two invited me to your event, mm. I was so excited. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're happy so, you came. I'm really happy yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're happy you came. Like, wow, we always inv- invite like other people that do events as well, and they don't really come. I f- do you know? I feel like this is like secret, like competition, mm. but it doesn't right. need, it doesn't need, need to, to be. Like, it doesn't need brand to be. is different. Do you know what I mean? Every event is, and different. also there's room yeah. for all of them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I think all of them are different. I don't think there's any event that does exactly the same no, there thing is. i mean there, there is one event that has a um, there's one event that's a bit you know they've come up after you and they um do you take they it have as, a similar thing going on? yeah you take it as inspiration <laughs> do, yeah. do you have take it as inspiration or a bit of like oh my God. well i would have taken it as inspiration if they hadn't stole our old face uh our old instagram page oh that is oh, okay, that's a bit messy, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit. Messy. And what they put their name on it, or they just change it. Basically, I got this email in lockdown, which was like, "Oh, we are a new like makeup business. Would you like give us your old like lick Instagram yeah. page?" And I'm like a reasonable, nice person, and so I was like, "I'm not using it." So yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Next thing I know, that Instagram page is like messaging my DJs, my photographers, my videographer, Ooh. and being like, "Oh, do you want to work at our new event?" And that I was like, I "Have you actually spoken to him about it, or is it just you've just left it like?" I just left it, but they yeah. just have a problem with me for some reason, which I just oh, think is a bit unnecessary. You didn't know them beforehand? No. 
That's weird. That's mad. That is a bit weird That's still. That's still your life. Uh, I, think that when they, I think that when they started, a lot of people noticed the similarities. <laughs> I think, I think it's hard not to. Yeah. yeah. People notice the similarities, mm-hmm. but it's not the same event at that is no, no. you know it's, it's Like I've been to both, it's a different vibe. It's just it's just different. It's, yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just a different thing. Even the other like events that are like reasonably similar to us, like it's still a different crowd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's never gonna be a problem where you could literally identically copy Lick and it's mm-hmm. still going to be different. Still going to be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't, yeah. but we always say vibes don't lie. Vibes, like, don't vibes lie. are always going to be yeah. different. It doesn't matter where you go, whatever event you go to. Mm-hmm. And to, p- to be honest with you, I need more events. I need I need options. Me too. Yeah. Like, so the, I, I need options more where they don't have a problem with me. So, I can yeah. actually go <laughs> so you can go and have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's weird. I, f- I don't think there's no need to have like no. issues. It's like even podcasting. We don't have an issue with anyone who's no. doing anything similar to our Because we're different. Like do other people have a problem with people doing podcasts? They do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they invented the podcast. Yeah. yeah like, like, no one's inventing podcasting. It's just... Like I've heard little comments. The, f- the funny thing is, sometimes I've heard comments from people that host other podcasts through someone else, mm-hmm. and then they'll be like, "Oh, this one says so and so." I'm like, "Who's that?" I don't even know who they are. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know the podcast even existed. I'm like, "What's their <laughs> podcast?" And they'll be just like, "Oh, I don't even know what this don't podcast know. is." They're like, "Oh, they're saying you're copying them." This one, I didn't even know the podcast existed. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, actually, because of that, because I know how queer people can be. I don't really listen to that many queer podcasts that, for, that are from here. Mm. I, so I don't want them to say that I said something similar to them. Yeah. I know within my heart, I don't listen. Mm. So I didn't <laughs> copy anything. Yeah. I didn't copy anything. So, But the fear is, I think the fear is that like, there's not enough space for everyone to do well. You know, especially when you come from like a smaller community, like or being black, being black, we say, you know, it's kind of crabs in a bucket kind of thing. Like people feel like there's not enough space. I like that. But it's just like so not true mm. like i there's been nights where it's licks been on pussy mm. palace has been on mm. other events which i won't name because i don't want to give them the <laughs> promo yeah we've all been on at the same time yeah. mm. and we've all sold out mm. like it, that shows how many queer people there are yeah it's, like, like, it's true because somebody said somebody tweeted yesterday about about the unpopular opinion about lgbtq nightlife. yeah and then some guy said do you know what i hate what everyone is saying but in the UK, there's actually a variety. There are. There's so actually many. a variety of events. Mm-hmm. like, And they all sell out. They all do well. So instead of like just focusing on what's happening in Soho, mm-hmm. just look at the events that are on. Like yeah. Every month, there's something on every single month. And, and for literally true. anything you want as well. Yeah. And all different. They're, they're actually all different. All different. Even all if you're different. the same people at the events, the vibe is still yeah. different. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe is still different. Like, it's still the same. But, you know. So how was the Over 25s event? Listen. <laughs> they hounded me for months. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, I'm 32, so yeah. I would quite minutes, like. Yeah. 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 I'd quite like an older event too. Mm-hmm. So everyone hounded me and hounded me, and they were like, "Please do 25 plus." And I thought, right, that's it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to sell out the 25 plus. It was a small venue that should have been mm. simple. Mm-hmm. On Camden, yeah. Do you know how many meet, uh, many people bought a ticket? Fifty. And I thought, right, I'm never well, doing this again. That you just don't proved you right. It. Mm. You don't come out. Mm. So what do you want me to do? That's the thing. We always say, like, obviously we go out. We go out all the time. All the time. And the thing is, people always come come on to us for going out all the time. They're always like, oh, like, like we should be at home. Out, we should have home. we should have babies. Yeah, like, <laughs> one time, what? Like, yeah. no, but we should do like this. But, and yeah, they just say all of that. Like when you hit a certain age, you're not allowed to have fun anymore. You don't allowed to yeah. fight anymore. But then at the same time, people complain for over 25 events. So which one is it? Which one? Yeah. yeah. And we always say like, because people ask us to do make our events over 25s as well. It's, and we, I always say, I always say no. Yeah. I mean, no, it's I always say no. Cause yeah. I know what it's going to be. Your crowd was definitely slightly older. It's still an older crowd. Yeah. I think our, our, our crowd is like 20... It is about 24, 25 onwards, mm. but they're still... The, the thing, young, the young ones bring a good vibe. They yeah, always they have do, fun. They, they, they pre-drink beforehand and they smash before they get in there. Yeah. Like they really bring a vibe. Mm-hmm. But I think that if it's Sony over 25s, I don't know what it is. I did go to the Pussy Palace that was over 25s a couple of weeks ago. And it was all right. But you know what? Ev- most people I spoke to were 25. Like, there wasn't many people that yeah. were like over tw- actually over 25. Most yeah. people were actually 25. Mm-hmm. So... And we went to another event last week that was over 25. Yeah. The same and thing. everyone was 25. Was 25. Yeah. Everyone was 25. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you're not really still getting people your age. Yeah. yeah. Like, not like, really. Where are 
all the lesbians our age. <sighs> They're at home. <laughs> it's like they vanish into the yep. air once they hit 30. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know. That's what people expect of us. I don't. uh, Maybe they go to straight events. Maybe. I don't know. Because I joined Hinge the other day. Yeah. And I swear to God, there's thousands of hot women in their 30s, and I've never seen any Mm, of them out anywhere. I feel like going through them all and just asking them, where have you been? Mm. What's the age range you put on your Hinge? (laughs) (laughs) No, because I need Hinge. So it's lower than it should be. Mm -hmm. But basically. It's not really now, but my my original marketing plan for Lick when mm. it first started was I put Lick on my Tinder, no other info about myself, yeah. matched everyone, mm. and then they had to see what Lick was if they uh, wanted to find yeah. out about mm. me. That is good. So now I still have it a bit younger, but mm. just so that they, in case yeah. they need to know about Lick or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think my, what, when I'm in here, I'm like, what's, what was the age on there? <laughs> God. No, at first, yeah, 18. it was, I put 27 <laughs> at first. And I thought, let me bring it up. Yeah, why didn't your market? 27's market? kind of the same as 26. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then it gets lower. It just gets lower and lower. <laughs> and then I made it 26. And then I made it, Um, what did I made it up? I, I think I ended up going down to 23. I went down to 23. Oh, well. Do you know, because it was that girl that was nice that we saw at that Right, She was 23. <laughs> but the thing is, yeah, I made it 23. But anyone who, because anyone who matched me, Oh, if they were 25, I didn't. I was like, no, I can't. Even if they were good looking, I was like, no, I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. I just I wanted to it. see what was there. I wanted to see, and I didn't match with somebody who was like in their forties actually, because I put the fifty was my highest. <laughs> 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 so I put someone was in their forties, and I just thought oh, they look boring, man. Yeah. But there was a girl that I used to talk to, um, a woman that I used to talk to. He was forty-two. And she was one of the most immature person I've ever spoken to. <laughs> well, this is it. Yeah, yeah. I know gross. people older than me that are like, I look at them and I think, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. But then the girl I've recently been dating, she's 25. Mm. And I was like, it's still, it's not right. It just, you think 25 too young? Or? It was with her. Mm. What about you? Definitely too young. You know my thoughts you know, on this. You know people are 27, do you? Mm-mm. Do you know what? I mean, I shouldn't. <laughs> She was really hot. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. That's what I'm saying. It'd be like that's that sometimes. Was, okay, she's not 23. The girl that I said it was nice. I think she's like 24. Mm-hmm. And I, but when I say I asked so many, this is before I even asked for her. I had her number already because she said she wants to come on the podcast. So I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> just took her number. <laughs> and then I asked like, everyone, should I move to her? And everybody was like, 24 is not young. Was like, but I was like, you know, that's a good eight years younger than me. That I never said it was okay. No, you didn't answer the message. Oh. Everyone has answered <laughs> apart from her. <laughs> if I ever want to do something and I know it's wrong, mm. I'll ask Chantelle, my friend. Mm-hmm. She's the only person that will agree with anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's the thing. We're looking for validation sometimes. Yeah, we know it's wrong, but we're still yeah. looking. As long as Chantelle tells me it's right. Mm. Yeah, like, that's true. Mm-hmm. Speaking of dating, are you dating? Are you single? Um, I've are just broke it off with someone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. Okay. I thought you might. Yeah. yeah. So he was like, mm, Teddy, you're like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it had to be done, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Someone I mean, it was cute. You know what I'm saying? It was, yeah. it was really cute. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. cute. So it happened. It happened. Mm. Yeah. That's it. So now you're like completely single. Mm. Are you open? Do you like dating? I shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Are you... Now I need to ask, are you okay? Um, well, no, I should just honestly be single for a while. Yeah. Because obviously I only, well, I broke up with my ex like six months ago, mm. instantly got into something with this other girl. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, this is not the right behavior. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, we That's true. Do it, we? we do. Well, yeah. I, I haven't. She, she's been good. She's actually been good. She hasn't yeah. been doing that. I haven't been doing that. She's been good. I've been good too. I didn't. Sense. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I felt well, really I- adult about this. We all do it. <laughs> I, think, I think that we all do it. Like, we try to be saying, okay, we're going to be sensible. We'll take a year out to ourselves. A year? Whatever. It, I've been telling myself a year, and it's just, I've accepted it now. It's what it is. I'm not going to do a year out. And I like to enjoy myself. Why yeah, myself? I've been celibate yeah. since April. That's really good. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> neither can I. I shall, neither can I. But then I've been like, I want to have fun mm-hmm. and just like, shag about mm-hmm. but then I'm not looking on hinge and there's all these mm-hmm. hot girls and I'm matching them and then I look and I think do you know what I cannot be mm-hmm. asked yeah. mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot I've had when you do events a lot of people move to you 
you know how many girls I met at the last lick and I don't remember one thing? I'm done. <laughs> I, I had about 20 DMs the next day being like, oh, you were like so nice to me. You do not Bye. remember. I'm screaming. You do not remember. Bre- Even screaming. if I look at a picture, I'm like, no idea. Don't you think when you were like, extra nice to women or just nice not even they extra, take like, it for nice. something else they take they think oh they've never had this before like wow we're getting N- married yeah <laughs> but i do that to, i am bad i sell them a dream <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie so you, yeah so I do hear you it. like to love bomb no yeah no but... i like to flirt to mm. the point where they really think i'm into it yeah. and then oh. i'm but it's because i'm drunk yeah. yeah what about you do you do that do i do what <laughs> Do I do that? Because you like to flirt and you know. Okay, I do flirt. I am, yeah, I like to flirt. Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. Mm-hmm. But I d- do I, s- I don't, do I sell dreams? Do you think I sell dreams? Maybe sometimes. Mm. Maybe sometimes it I happens. do. Yeah. Sometimes I do. It happens. I'm not selling, I'm not selling dreams right now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what? I sold a dream once and like, you know, I had to apologize for that shit because I was in the wrong. And now I just, I'm just like, I don't want the drama. I don't want yeah, it's not worth the fucking drama. drama. Honestly. Yeah. Do you, would you say that you're a villain in a lot of your in your story, your dating stories? No. Oh, mm, that's good. Because once I really like someone, I'm actually like a actually proper softie. Mm. And my ex was brutal. Mm. And you was a softie in there. I forgave her for everything. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. 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 And you. Pisces. Oh, oh, I love Pisces. What are you? I'm a Scorpio. So oh, I love Scorpio. What yeah. are you? Libra. Yeah. She was a Libra too. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, I knew you were going to say she was a Libra. I'm I just crying. knew it. <laughs> I, I knew. do actually like Libra, I think. But you're a bit like sit on the fence, a bit wishy-washy. Yeah, yeah, can, yeah I'm not going to yeah. lie to you. We can yeah. be wishy-washy. But um, do you know what? When wishy-washy is coming from a good place. But it's, 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 just a it's painful. Tedious. It's painful yeah, for it other people. It's like make a decision. It's just like, you know, we don't want to hurt. I uh, do you know what I think? When people I'm wishy-washy, yeah, yeah deep down, I know what I want to do. Deep mm. down, I know what the answer is. Yeah. I know what I want to do. But... I don't want, it's awkward telling them because it's not what they want to hear. <laughs> so, so, so that's where my wishy washy comes from, to be honest. Yeah, I'm the opposite. Like, and I say too much. Yeah. What I think. Yeah, because you're a Pisces and you, you're autistic. So that is going to be like, yeah, you're going to tell them how it is. And I've got six signs in Capricorn. Oh my oh. God, Capricorns. Yeah. The Capricorns are quite um, confrontational. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They are. They are. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like I like confrontation if it's on my terms. Yeah. I don't like mm-hmm. it if someone comes at me. Mm. The thing is when you come out of how long was your last relationship? 2 years. You needed space. You needed I a bit of time. Everyone, everyone's been breaking up at 2 years and 2 and a half years. What is it about that 2 year mark? Yeah. Do you know what though? We broke up and all of a sudden everyone else started breaking yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my last relationship we broke up in January February. Yeah. And it was 2 and a half year mark. Oh. Yeah, it's been yours. I've never years. lasted more than 3 mm. years actually. No, I haven't lasted more than three years. No. And even the three year one, I was unhappy for a good year and a half. I just stayed. It happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got to say for the kids. But what happens? Like, with dog, what happens afterwards? Was it both of your dogs or just your? No, I always get a girlfriend with a dog. I'm done. Oh, so you fall in love with the dogs afterwards. and Oh, I only care about the dog. <laughs> The last one actually offered me to keep the dog, but I just thought, no, this is a tactic. To oh, yeah. In my life. So yeah. Like, yeah. You know what? However much I love this dog, you keep oh, him. That's crazy. I know someone that's currently doing that right now. With a dog? Yeah. It's funny because it's a guy. He um, calls the dog one thing. <laughs> she calls the dog another crazy. thing. crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's two names. The dog's got split love. That is a broken phone. I don't think home. she knows. If she's the podcast, she's going to find out now, but she doesn't know <laughs> that he calls the dog another name. <laughs> It's a broken home, fam. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah. Then I heard from her, she's like, oh, yeah, this is the dog's name. And I was just like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute dog. Our dog's like, what the hell is going yeah, on? Yeah, that dog is confused. The that dog is not going to be dog. trained well. That dog is confused. So why don't you get yourself a dog? I've got this thing. I don't know if it's because... I think because I love dogs more than I could ever love people. Mm-hmm. That's really scary to me to like have that sole responsibility. Right. Like I would feel bad even just like going out the house for the day and not yeah. being able to take the dog. Yeah, you know, I hear that. I don't know if I dogs need that. Dogs are children, you Dogs know. are needy. So they, they the need, yeah, like mm-hmm. at work there's so get... many dogs. But I did get a housemate. <laughs> I moved a housemate in and she's got a dog. Oh, okay. So that's doing okay, that right helps. Now. That okay. helps. Yeah, that helps. How long have you lived in London? About seven years now. 
When I first moved to London, I lived in a abandoned church in Camden. No way. Really? There was like mice. Wow. Was it like one of those guardian things or was it like? Yeah, yeah. but it was like the pits. Yeah. Pits. But at the time I didn't care. Mm. Look, it's only looking back now where I'm like, fucking hell, that was a shit hole. Mm -hmm. At the time I was like, this is brilliant. I don't have to pay like rent. Mm -hmm. I just. Yeah. Because I think it's either, sometimes no rent or it's like really, really, really cheap low. Rent. Yeah. yeah, mine was yeah. none. Why did you want to move to London? Um, well, I've lived like all over the world, but like, because mm. I, I was a stripper. Wait, hold on a second. I didn't know this. Wait, hold on a second. Back. Let's take let's this back. Go, let's go, let's go, Here's let's an exclusive. Go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Do people know this? Do people, Do people know this? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. You know, I feel, I feel like I knew this. Something's kind of, I'm always, it's either that or it's deja vu. Mm. One of one of the two. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's talk about a stripper. Yeah, we can get into it. <laughs> I've had a lot of dodgy jobs, actually. Wow. Yeah, how was it being a stripper? I loved it. Yeah. From like, I did it from about 18 to 23, so like five mm. years, and I kind of traveled around the world doing that. Where did you go? Huh? What countries? I lived in Aruba. I did like Norway, Denmark. Wow. Oh, all wow. over Europe. Did you strip here as well? Yeah. So when you strip here... Shout out to Milena Sanchez because she messaged me and told me she went to a strip club, Browns. When we were talking about Browns, oh my god, yes, 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 yes. We were talking about Browns, but we was like we'd never been before. And then Milena messaged me and she was like, "Yeah, um, I've been there before, and they have cups, basically for the money that they go." Oh yeah, it's changed now. So how was it? How was it? How was it before? Back then, people had money and you'd make shitloads of it. Now the strippers like they're lucky if they make like two hundred quid a night. We 200 were, yeah we were laughing you know the film hustler yeah it's literally what it was like wow that is money and then basically the recession hit and all the romanian and like eastern european girls came in and mm. they were so like brutal mm -hmm. it like just changed destroyed everything so then we all started going to other countries to do it instead wow that is uh, do you know i dated a stripper once and i feel like she was the 200 quid a night one <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think she was that one because she, she, do you know what? She used to portray this like, this like wealthy lifestyle, yeah. But I used yeah. to see her almost every day. Like, you, do you know them ones where you can only put She barely so went to work. work. She, she, she wasn't at work. <laughs> she wasn't in the strip club. Well, she was in the house. Honest, like, I wasn't the best stripper because I was just trying, I was just having a good time. Yeah. yeah. That's my problem. I don't really care about money. Like mm -hmm. I was doing it because I did genuinely enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was if I had, I think it was because I had some sort of power over men. Mm -hmm. mm, and okay. I got off on that. Yeah. yeah. Like, I used to get turned on. Yeah. yeah. I don't even fancy men. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. But I had a great time. Mm. Yeah. The travel, she didn't travel the world. Because you don't read well. <laughs> yeah. You don't no, but how did you, how did you even get into that? Um, I watched the film Showgirls when I was 16. Mm -hmm. Instantly went to the strip strip club in Newquay and I was like, can I have yeah. a job? And then they eventually asked for my ID. And I was oh, like, oh, nah, yeah. shame. <laughs> and then went back after my 18th birthday and was like, yeah. Oh, so I'm you wanted that. to do it? You just wanted to do mm. it? Yeah. That's kind of sick. Wow. That's, I feel this is exclusive. I don't think people yeah, know I don't, about you. People don't know that. I don't yeah, know first. Don't know so after, when you came back, did you like just go with like, get like normal, a normal job afterwards? I worked in surveillance for a bit. Oh. <laughs> You've had many different lives. Yeah. It's so You've random. had many different lives. Many. Yeah. Who was and then surveillance? we basically had to follow people and like take pictures and stuff. Wait, okay. Yeah. After you can tell me how to apply for that job. <laughs> yeah. Because there's people that I need to know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. No, I shouldn't have been doing that job, but I just basically knew the right people and mm. went to it. But then what happened was I went back to Cornwall because that's where I'm originally from. Mm. And I was like, I just need like, to feel I just want to feel settled and have like a normal job right and I always liked working in bars but I was like I cannot work around men because mm -hmm. at this point like I'd been stripping and I was over it yeah so then I found out about she bar oh, yeah. tweeted them and I was like give me a job mm -hmm. and then they were like yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I started working there had a great time and then they basically out of nowhere like sacked me uh, yeah. and I was like you're gonna regret this because yeah. they, they it wasn't that they'd sacked me they also said but because you've been sacked you're also banned for a year. Oh, shit. And that was my only space to go, even mm. though it was shit. I was like, I was fuming. Whose heart did you break in there? Yeah, you definitely... The girl in the heart. RAF. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's serious. <laughs> and then basically, I was like, I was so angry. I was like, you're going to regret this. Yeah. And they were like, mm. I walked across the road. Mm. You know where Lick used to be amused? Yeah. Literally opposite Sheba. Mm -hmm. 
I went straight there and I was like, can I do a night on a Tuesday to rival yeah. Ruby Tuesdays? And they were like, yeah, sure. They were fuming. Started it the next week, called, yeah. see, called it See You Next Tuesday. Yeah. And yeah. no one ever went Ruby Tuesdays again. They are. Does it even Woo! exist, Ruby Tuesdays? No. Yeah, Woo! I was going to say it because I went to Ruby Tuesdays in like 2014. I think that's the last time I went to Ruby Tuesdays. Mm. Or maybe 2015. Somewhere around that time. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't really been since any of those times. But like, I went to She Bar about two, three weeks ago. Oh. Did you? Three week, three, four weeks ago. Yeah, because I was on a, I was on a date. We went to dinner. Okay. And after dinner, we decided to go for a walk. And she doesn't, she doesn't know much about the. She's she is actually before people say that I'm dating straight girls, she is <laughs> a queer. She is she's bisexual. However, she hasn't been on the queer scene before <laughs> because she's like she's she's been to Lick though. <laughs> she's been to Lick. Oh. Yeah, she's been to Lick. I think it's the only place she's been to Lick and Black Prides, and um, she. I was like, let's go. She didn't know that Soho was meant to be Gayland. She mm. didn't know that. What? Yeah, she didn't know. It is very straight now, though. It is gay, yeah. to be fair. It is. So we went through, and I was like, oh, that's a that's actually a lesbian club. She's like, wow, that exists. And I said, yeah, now they allow men in, but yeah, it's a lesbian mm. club. So we went there, we went to the door, and the security was on the phone, and she went, hold on one second, hold on. <laughs> and then we actually held on. We held on. I was like, okay, cool. I was getting my ID out. I was thinking, all right, we're going to get in. And then. To this day, we're still holding on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. She didn't come off the phone. What? She was like, I don't think she was even on the phone. She, was, she wasn't talking. She was, she was just like, mm. and she has some straight face. Do you, do you know, normally at these clubs, they have these like butch women, like these hench ones. She was just one of those with a short buzz cut and whatever. And then I was, we just started laughing. After like five minutes, we realized what was happening. Was that? <laughs> we just started laughing. She's like, Wait. Hello. She, we both start waving at hi. Like, what's going no, on? I actually can't stand that though. No, at least give us say something. Yeah. Say, maybe like, I don't know. Maybe something's happening down there, or you can't come in, or something. It definitely wasn't packed. Yeah. It wasn't definitely wasn't packed yet. But we just started cracking. But the thing is, before we went there, got there, I said, I bet anybody they're gonna let us in anyway. They're yeah. Us, but let's just see if they do anyway. So they didn't let us in. And she was like, "Wow, that's my Soho experience finished." Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's we even it. began. It's just bad vibes. Mm. It's bad vibes. It's bad vibes. It's bad yeah. vibes. Yeah, I don't think. But that... there's lots of times I go out to Soho. I don't get it. Yeah, I, I think the only times I've been to Soho and really got in and actually had a good time has been your events. Yeah, Soho <laughs> is for everyone though. Like yeah. Soho, as much as it's queer, it's not for everyone. Like there's oh, been okay. so many times, like you know, not being able to get into a club and Soho and stuff like that. It's not for everyone. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. often don't like me into GAY mm -hmm. or into GAY. G A Y in heaven, I really struggle to get in. Really? Yeah. So what what, what did they say to you when you? Heaven mostly is just like, sorry, we're not letting any more women in. And I've asked what before and been like, why? Mm. And they're like, oh, because if there's a fight, we can't handle it. I'm like, what are you going on about? Firstly, but basically, what it really is is that they say that lesbians don't spend money and that we cause trouble. I'm screaming. So they just cause... and also it's owned by Jeremy Joseph. Oh, Aww. that guy. I've got a question actually on uh, somebody sent us an anonymous question. Anonymous question. I bet they did. Yeah, I think <laughs> if do. people knew I was doing this podcast, you know the kind of questions. Oh you'd my get? god, they yeah. People it would have been your business. It would have been mad. It would have been mad. So someone said, "Do you feel some type of way if you're not the dominant one in the relationship?" Yeah, I really struggle with that. Do you? I'm having a bit of an identity crisis. I'm not having an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. I've just always had a bit of one. Yeah, because I look quite femme. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel very masculine. Mm -hmm. mm. But that's okay to have, like, for it to be, like, a mix. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's okay but to I'm, mix. Oh, I'm at the stage now where I'm, like, I feel like I've been missing out throughout my life. Because mm. basically, like, I just give. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. that should be, you should, yeah, change that. It needs to be yeah. more mutual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas yeah. I'm not really, the only way I'd be into that is if I dated someone that I felt was on the same, like, masculinity level is me mm. or more but then i don't fancy really mass girls mm. I that. if do i date a femme i can't let them do anything to me why not really no it makes me feel like emasculated really so would you say you're touch me not ish yeah mm. really i'm surprised but then i would if it mm. was the right person because yeah. I, I i i do date femme girls mm. I, yeah. then it so, doesn't really work for me sometimes they're a bit too femme where they're like pillow princesses and they want like really like put that. in work yeah, pillow princess. Oh, I love it. Do you get tired? No, I love it. I'll get tired after what you're Yeah, I went to the <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Well, obviously, the last episode, I revealed that because I always said I'm never going to let anyone strap me. So I revealed in the last episode this summer, mm -hmm. I opened up my leg for someone to strap me. This yeah. summer, <laughs> I did. 
and it was it was good. It was good. You liked it. How I did. There's a but. <laughs> I did, but it, uh, the reason I wouldn't make allow, allow it to happen often is because of. Uh, do you know it's weird? Yeah, the person wasn't like overly dominant. But I still felt dominated. Yeah, yeah, I felt dominated in that, and they made me that. The do, like that you? to what? Just, it wasn't them. I just would like to say because she listens to it. I got upset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't them that made me feel uh, uncomfortable or anything like that. Mm. It was just the act of it. I'm not used to being in that position. Yeah, and so going forward, I don't think it's something that I would want my partners to do to me. But I tried it. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you tried. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think I could. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Before I remember, before I was saying I yeah, would never, I would yeah, never. Yeah, you did say but that. She but... made me feel comfortable. Like she just really made me feel comfortable. There might be somebody that does make you feel comfortable. So basically, a couple of years ago, all my friends were telling me you need to date a mask. Because oh fuck, I'd say mm. like, I don't want to. Mm. Okay. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work, like, does it? You've tried, I you date, want to, but... I dated, like, the most mask... Like, I went on a date with the most mask person I could find. Mm-hmm. I ended up strapping her. <laughs> oh! Like, I don't think people are understanding how strong my energy is. Okay! Yeah. You know what? I think it's funny as well, because, like, when you're someone who looks feminine mm-hmm. yeah do you know i would i wouldn't call you fm i wouldn't, I wouldn't call you fm either. but that if you if even though just because you wear makeup and stuff like that people might call you fm but i wouldn't call you fm i wouldn't like and that. like some people would see that or see your feminine ways mm. and just easily think oh they can't be dominant or whatever yeah they might but i was saying something before that when people say things like that it, it was the last episode i said it that they haven't they haven't experienced you in all the ways they can experience mm-hmm. you like there's a lot of people they obviously i've got lots of feminine mannerisms and stuff like that but they don't experience me intimately yeah in an intimate kind of setting and that's where most of my dominance comes out from more intimate settings and like yeah. when even if on the phone whether we're having sex or whatever that's when we're on dates that's where it normally comes out from my romantic partners mm-hmm. but when i'm just like chilling and whatever that's where my, my femininity more comes out mm-hmm. if i'm in a club that's when my dominance comes out. It just comes out in different yeah. scenarios. Mm-hmm. And I think that people place too much about femininity or femmes on your the way you look. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Makeup. Mm-hmm. Or like, but it's a lot, it's a lot deeper than that. It's yeah. a lot way yeah. more than that. It is. Yeah. So I've shaved the back of my head recently. Mm-hmm. It looks That's all, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm really regretting it. Really? Why? Just pretty regretting it. Why? I think it looks nice. No, but it was the worst idea I've ever had in my life. But every time I do on my period, there's something in me that makes me do something stupid and irrational. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And out of nowhere, I was like, right, I'm going downstairs to the barbers and I'm shaving the back of my head. Mm -hmm. I've got psoriasis all over the back of my head and I knew that. Mm. You had that. I did have that. But the reason why... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, you didn't know you had it or you knew? I knew. But it might (laughs) help because when I shaved my hair off, it helps. It went... So it might. Yeah, it was, she might shaved help. their hair because she had it. Because yeah. it was so yeah. bad. It was so so bad. But, yeah. but then this is not helping the crisis now. Oh, because what everyone can see it. That's why. Well, no, it's just like I feel more like myself. Mm. But then I'm like, also, I can't be. I feel so masculine now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I see what you I mean. I almost feel like I shouldn't be wearing makeup and stuff. Mm. Really, it's so weird. Mm. That's interesting. I think, I think to me, I think that is probably the pressures that other people have put you over the years yeah because you don't even realize how how much other people perceive you how much that affects how you see yourself yeah yeah like all the time like a hundred percent yeah and that's why when people say to us there'll be some people that be like oh i don't really see you as that masculine or whatever and it kind of just makes you kind of think about yourself oh my god am i actually like who i think i am (laughs) like am i who i think i am imagine finding out you've got autism on top Mm -hmm. and now i'm like I've been masking everything my whole life, and I'm like, who the fuck am yeah. I? I've got no clue anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I don't know what I've been just like copying from other people and what is actually real. real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, thought, I, w- I wondered that as well. I wondered if I was copying other people. Like, when, like, I remember I had this girlfriend who liked studs, the, the girlfriend that I met Anna through. I, mm-hmm. I, she, she liked studs. She wasn't white, I cut my hair, but I think she had played a part because she liked studs and I wasn't this stud. Right. And then I was thinking, well, I could do that. Now. <laughs> so I've gone and cut my hair. And I feel like at that, at that stage of my life, I definitely think it was identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> and it was based on how other people saw me. Mm. And it's weird because I embodied this like weird bravado where I was doing that. Like, I was one of the stars that was screaming in the club. Like, that's not even who I Oh, damn. <laughs> My face wasn't even screaming. <laughs> oh, damn. But, like, I think it was based on 
it was her and a lot of people that she knew. So we we'll go out. I remember we was in Bad Bitches one time and that one of her friends were like, oh, um, is your girl a stud or a femme? Like, which one is she? Kind of thing. And I remember like that played on my mind for years, for time, for time, for time. I was thinking, oh, that means I have to choose. Well, no, because back then as well, it was very mm-hmm. just like, Oh my God, so rigid. Yeah. It was so... If you were a lesbian, you had to be yeah. butch with short, spiky hair. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was the only way of people then knowing that you were yeah, a lesbian. lesbian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to be, you have to. <laughs> there was no in between. No, there was no in between. That's weird. It's probably weird, but I think and that's the whole us. Do you not yeah. think this, like, everyone is gay now? Everyone. Yeah. It's insane. I mean, your last one, we were shocked. (laughs) 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 Me too. (laughs) But no, that's crazy. Like, how are these identity crises? The thing is, everything we've said, I just know that at least one person can DM us and say they can relate. Yeah. When it comes to this LGBT stuff and how how we present and how we identify and stuff like that, it's just always, it's just always up for debate. Yeah. And it should And it's all, we're always questioning ourselves as well. All the time, no matter Mm -hmm. what, like, some people, do you know the ones who I really rate? The ones that one day you see them super mask and next day you see them as a femme? Yeah. Do you know what? That throws me off. <laughs> it it does. Me well. But I, but the I confidence, mean, like the confidence yeah. is, Im- is immense. But like, then I crazy. look at those people and I'm like, I'll see them one day. So like a TikTok or something. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, they're hot. And then mm. the next day they're a completely different person. I'm like, mm. no, you're not. <laughs> this is how you know you're attracted to what you're attracted to. Like we were saying in the last podcast or one of the other ones that we're attracted to femininity. So we just like that look of femininity, like that vibe that energy of just it's yeah. the energy it's the energy yeah. this is what I have no type whatsoever but mm-hmm. there's a specific thing that every person I like has and it's mm-hmm. just this like extra like yeah bit of energy I know what you yeah. mean yeah. Just, like, yeah. it's, saying this, it's the when it yeah. gets the nails is that yeah. that's what yeah. I was saying yeah. last time yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah something in it, it is that is oh, we all like the same thing you know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god should we just all get married yeah, yeah. let's do it listen listen <laughs> it's because it's breakup season right now. Breakup, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I broke up this year everybody oh I'm me oh yeah I'm me yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we all everybody good. from January to now that's the breaking up <laughs> what we move 2023 was yours quite brutal yeah yeah me too Mm. Was yours? It was in a way, wasn't in a way. Well, they're still mates, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm mates with all of my exes. I'm good. I'm, are you mates with any of your exes? I was willing to be friends, even after everything yeah. she did. It's impossible. She's made it impossible. Mm. Yeah. Damn. She's she, Libra, so I get I mean, it, yeah. We've been broken up six months, and she still texts me yesterday asking if I want to go on a cruise with her. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> she is a Libra. That is like, funny. That is, that is jokes. But yeah, I'm, I mean, everyone who's break up. I think next year we need to have another season because we've been speaking about breakup season a lot. Yeah, this year. yeah. We've, we've been speaking about a lot else. this year. Next year we need to be on our whole season, maybe. Yeah. I need yeah. a whole season. Yeah. That's all I want to do. But then I look at people and I'm like, oh, I can't even be out. Yeah, it's long. I'm not going to lie to you. It's long. It's. Uh, I wasn't joking about whole season, by the way. I'm joking. Um, I'm <laughs> crying. <laughs> I, I can't do whole season because I'm a lover girl. So, like, I can't. See, I used to love it. Like, for me, the first time having sex with someone is like the only thing I'm really interested in, yeah, and then I the, get bored. It's actually the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> the I, new, I, the I newness, like shagging about. The newness is fantastic. But now I'm older, mm-hmm. something is changing where I'm like, I can't be asked unless I actually mm-hmm. like them. What is that all about? Yeah, me too. After, I, if I, I, I can't ask people I don't like it as well. I have to like, I have to like you. It doesn't mean yeah, I've got but feelings. Mm-hmm. But... So much fun before, before yeah. when I didn't have to do that. Right. Yeah, I'm getting older, guys. Oh, yeah, I think tedious. we are. We're tired. We're, t- we're, t- we're actually tired. <laughs> we're, really. tired. we're tired. <laughs> Exhausting. Will you get married? Will I? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Not if I can avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it if they really want that. Yeah. But, but I... Like you, like, you're not, like, having got goals for that. My I- That's my idea of pure hell, having to walk down an aisle in front of people. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to walk down an aisle. What would you do? Just be there. I'm going to be there. Okay. Yeah. Before anyone comes. Yeah. I'm, before the guests. I'm already waiting. Everyone should come into the room and see me. <laughs> because they they do both both people do walk down now, don't they? No, the man stands at well, traditional well, man and woman. The man stands no, at the women. The the like lesbian or bisexual women, 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 mm. um, marriages I've seen. I think they both walk down the aisle. 
I think when Rose and Rosie did it, they yeah. both walked down the aisle. But I guess yeah. it's just your choice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I just don't even like the thought of standing there in front of everyone and everyone like staring at you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Rose and Rosie. Oh, they so they're the best. Yeah. I was so jealous when they came on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what? I can't believe they suggest. They're such. I do, I they they are this. such good vibes. Yeah. And the thing is, like, they still like DM all the time. They're like, how are you? Yeah, yeah. I've watched them since like ages ago. I remember being like 2012. They're YouTube OGs. I think I first saw their video of them kissing for like 10 minutes or something. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's the first video. So I was like, yeah, I love these two. When when we were on YouTube searching girls kissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find that gay content. (laughs) (laughs) No, they're OGs. I love them. Like, obviously, they got their little baby now. Mm And that's been lovely to see. I think that's been lovely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it has been. I don't. I don't think I know many people have got babies. But you know what? They've been together for so long. Like we were just talking about how the, our longest relationship was like for two, three years. Know, it's true, <laughs> what yeah. is wrong with that? Don't, is it because we go out party? Maybe. Maybe, you know. maybe they got a point. You know, the people that have been talking shit. They, maybe they have a point. I don't feel like it's I think maybe point. what the problem is is that we're just like too elite. Yeah, that is a problem. Yeah, mm. it's not it's a problem. Really it's just hard, it's, there it's the problem. really hard at the top. Because yeah. how are we going to find people that match our level? Do you know what? The vibes and energy. This is, do you know, you said it. <laughs> I've been thinking it, but I don't want to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> like, I just saw, I always say this word, kung kung, on this podcast. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are just kung kung. So, sorry. No offense. <laughs> no offense. Yeah. yeah. But I think that, this is not to even be cocky and stuff like that, yeah. But I think when you just achieve certain things mm. and you like, even when you have like a certain visibility, not, I'm not, the biggest fan of vis- vis- visibility mm-hmm. but you just need you, need you just want to be with somebody who can just match your yeah, yeah, your bouginess you yeah know? and also if you think about yourself highly as well you want someone who is up there as well yeah like yeah. do you know what i mean like, it doesn't mean you have to have like designer wear no not, i'm not I'm even saying, yeah i'm not yeah. even talking about that but just like the self-worth thing is just like i want somebody to match mm-hmm. but then they pretend you get that's that the too. problem you do you can get that you can get that mm-hmm. yeah that's the issue. Mm. Yeah, the gays be pretending. <laughs> they love to pretend. <laughs> <laughs> How was it having guys at the last event? Luckily, was it even that many there? No, thank God. <laughs> yeah. The second I posted it, no, I can't say that. Okay, the second I posted the event up, I thought this was a mistake. Mm. Oh, what having guys for guys? Yeah, because everyone was freaking out, being like, "Oh, straight guys are trying gonna try and get in," and I was like, "Trust me, I'm not gonna let that yeah, happen." Yeah. But then they started freaking me out, and I was thinking, "Oh shit, like what have mm-hmm. I done?" But then it ended up being like three percent of tickets were men. Oh, and no straight guys tried to come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a gay guy on thing. the door, like testing out the gay guy, but <laughs> oh. everyone that turned up just was clearly oh. gay. Yeah, I think that um, I saw that was like people people on Twitter talking saying that what did they say they were like oh they're straight guys are upset people just chat the most shit yeah Yeah. like honestly they love to chat shit there was no straight men in there yeah Yeah. i don't i don't i can't imagine i think this in this day and age a lot of straight guys have shame yeah they do have when it try when it comes to trying to enter the i think that so much talking Mm. around certain things nobody wants to be cancelled so they have shame and nobody wants to buy a 21 pound ticket and then be turned away on exactly and yeah but this is the thing like that reminds me of one of the first events that we did because we weren't queer a queer event at the time Mm -hmm. and so like guys will come and obviously majority girls are queer bisexual and they're looking for girls and Mm. these guys are just disappointed yeah so it's just like that's why we made it a queer event because in the beginning it was for everyone mm-hmm. and then oh was it yeah it was for everyone in the beginning and the first event was very mixed it was very straight and gay but then the gays were like there's too many straight people here yeah. and the straight people were like there's too many gay people here yeah. and i would say to the straight people why is there too many gay people here yeah. like that was my defense but I, was, I didn't have a defense for the gay people though yeah. i'd just be like okay fair enough mm-hmm. so we tried it for like three or four events and after that we were just like yeah let's just be a queer event like because mm-hmm. it's, it's just it's better do you know yeah. what i'm saying the gay, like the straight people are coming and they're kind of standing by the wall watching all the gay, gay people are just dance. like good vibes yeah, yeah exactly the vibe was with the gays like if gays you want dance. to go to a club with straight people you just go to any just other any club, club yeah. yeah even dlt had a collab with everyday people mm-hmm. and they did it with like some of the queer people from london and 
that was the that's the most queer people they've had in DLT, and they tweeted afterwards like that's been one of the latest events that we had. Like, was like every yeah, have yeah. Vibes. good vibes, yeah. Good yeah. amazing like vibes. Gays in their events, mm-hmm. and it's true, you do amazing vibes. Even the last party we went to, yeah, nobody was dancing until we yeah, died. but especially black queer people because mm-hmm. there is other queer events in London that are like predominantly white, and mm-hmm. I look at it and I'm like that looks fucking dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but it does. Yeah, it needs to be at least a good mix. Yeah, like diversity yeah. wise, like that is like the perfect combination. Mm, I think so as well. I yeah. think that yeah, you need everything. You need everything to make it lit. Yeah, you know everyone needs to bring their thing, bring their stories, bring their culture, bring all that, and then it just makes it lit. But we didn't even get into why you went from queer to women only. Yeah, so I haven't. Mm. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> And then everyone online, uh, people like to say now, they're like, oh, oh, there's loads of straight girls. And like, no, there's not. Mm. Yeah, because I might, don't. Uh, I'm you, not going to lie. Last time I've been, it's just been. Gay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you might see like a couple, but like, mm. obviously, like some straight women might come with their, their gay friend. friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every gay person, uh, straight person I've seen in Lick, like say for example, we've booked like pole dancers before or like dancers mm-hmm. that are straight. Mm-hmm. They come back the next month with a girlfriend. And, like <laughs> I'm not trying to be the gay agenda, but if I can help, I will. That is mad that you actually haven't. Who, I don't know. I just feel like somewhere know, around really lockdown. Excited. It's just because basically, because we joined TikTok, the like easiest way of explaining things mm-hmm. is to just say no men allowed. Mm-hmm. Because basically we didn't want to start saying it's for women queer women and non-binary people because we got told you shouldn't like put that in the same sentence together because it's then grouping non-binary people with women okay so then the easiest thing to do is just say no men allowed right i see it because also like because it's for trans women as well Mm -hmm. like the wording with lick is so difficult yeah but also like i think even if by saying women only like straight women might comment on the post being like oh yeah we want to come no they don't yeah Yeah. straight women will we'll they want to go out and see men yeah, yeah they, they want to yeah, go it's out. so true i've seen a couple like um straight girls say oh i'm going to lick i'm going to lick but they're not straight <laughs> this is what i mean yeah anyone that wants to come something. to lick and be mm. around two thousand other gay women i'm straight. sorry you're not straight yeah yeah you're not straight and right. if i can help convert mm-hmm yeah we're, we're here for the gay agenda yeah I, absolutely I we're flying that flag agenda. yeah <laughs> I'm so <laughs> here for it. Like, okay, so New Year's Eve, yeah. Mm. We're gonna be yeah. New Year's Eve. So there's not not one before New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is the next one. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. New Year's Eve. I'm gonna bring my new American friend. Yep. She's coming with like two others as well. And yeah, she was like, I need to go out the gays. I was just like, okay. I'll set us up a little box so that like me, you, Miller, everyone that works for Lick, who's yeah. over 30. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be great. Oh, that is fantastic. I do think she, okay, I've done. How I don't know how old she is, what? but I'm assuming she's around our age. Mm-hmm. Let me just sprinkle and say maybe a bit younger. Okay, <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm assuming she's around. But do you know what's weird? Like everybody now is saying, "Oh, Lick's so young now. It's mm. like all like eighteen year olds." It's not. Mm. But what's weird is like, obviously lockdown happened. So anybody that was maybe turned eighteen just before lockdown yep. is now twenty, but they've never been out before, mm. so they seem a lot younger. Mm, yeah. That's true. You said that before. Yeah. Like the average yeah, yeah. age at Lick is 25 to 26. Mm. But it just seems really young because a lot of these people haven't been going okay, out yeah. for the yeah. last two yeah. years. True. But also, and then the older people, people look young. Like you, if you walked down the street and I didn't know you, I wouldn't say you're 32. Mm. Queer people just look young. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? That's true though. Yeah. <laughs> do you look young? Queer people don't look, do everyone just look, especially like, like the way we dress and stuff like that. We don't, I don't know. Like but when I look straight like, people, they, they look dressed like they're going to church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they're all bad vibes <laughs> but also people will be like as well oh yeah all the young people at lick cause trouble anyone that's caused trouble at lick they're all over 25 done i I'm am not even so lying. done that is crazy the younger ones just come and get smashed and mm. go home yeah yeah it's yeah. true listen i think that instead of just assuming people's ages maybe we should ask, ask. Yeah. yeah yeah like sorry we all look so good <laughs> Well, I've been, it. I mean, I've been asking. I think the last time I went, I, well, one of the push palaces I went to, like maybe it was like last year, I don't remember. No, it was early this year, mm. or maybe during the summer. One, um, this girl asked me, she was like, oh, trying to chat to me. And I said, okay, just, I said, pause. <laughs> you have to. She was 18. Oh, no. I started screaming. <laughs> I actually started screaming and we saw her on the weekend. She's going to listen to this podcast. This is podcast. I was like, hi. <laughs> and I saw her on the weekend. Of course, maybe she was 19. We saw her on the weekend and she was like, yeah, I saw you at Pussy Palace and I told you your age and you started screaming. 
was just like, dang. And no. I went home and I remembered exactly what she's talking about. <laughs> 18 is really young. Yeah. yeah. That is really young. Yeah. Closet, if I did yeah. that, I'd get yeah. cancelled. Oh, yeah. We would all get cancelled. It's all just of absolutely us. not acceptable. Yeah, at all. It's, it, thank you. What kind of things do you think we'll get cancelled for? Me? Yeah. I think about this a lot because I'm like, it's due. <laughs> it's coming at some point. I'm just waiting. Yeah. I thought about all my potential different options. Yeah. The thing is, I am a good person mm. and I try to do the best with everything. Yeah. So like, I don't really deserve it. Yeah. yeah. But it will happen at some point, I'm sure. Yeah. But it's not going to be for dating anyone younger than 25. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's, that's good. 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 Yeah. That's I'm good. prepping for that. If I get cancelled anytime soon, it's going to be because I'm wearing my Balenciaga's. I wore my Balenciaga hoodie two days ago and yeah. someone commented on my pit on my story being like, the only thing about this is the hoodie or something. I was like, what's she going on about? Yeah. It didn't even click in my yeah. head. Yeah. 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 Because I was looking at, I was looking through my portfolio photos and I said, wait, I can't wear this right now. I think you can get away with trainers. Yeah, I have to do good. I don't know. They're very distinctive. It's the chunky one. The chunky ones. It's the chunky ones. Yeah, but just wear like, bit baggy attractive. Yeah, these days, flares are in these days, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure Kanye's Wide well. I know, I've got Yeezys yeah, on. Look at me. Yeah, 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 I'm selling mine. Yeah. Do you know what? Oh. Actually, I am very surprised I've lasted six years without being cancelled. You know the new girls event? Yes. We won't say their name. There's a new girls event? Yeah, there's a you new one. You know what the event is? Mm-mm. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even know about it. They've been cancelled about five times already. How long have they going? They've probably done about ten events. Really? No, I don't know who that I'm is. Like, I've lost. I've lasted a long time. I must yeah. be doing. What something are there? How many girls that go to the event? Yeah. Oh, I don't know I about don't this know event. This There's a, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's because you have to be. You know, like when you're chill and you're quiet, you don't say much. Like you don't put everything out there. I think that helps. Yeah, I think I think that helps as well. And do you know what? As much as like people might say whatever they're going to say about you as a person, mm-hmm. they're like clicks. <laughs> they, they, they like lick. even us as well like some people say we're bad vibes mm-hmm. some people say but that's that the we, thing I, yeah. I don't I think they know you like we see you we you know come to your events but we don't know you mm-hmm. to say yeah. you know to say shit and well, no when, one does yeah, so yeah. Don't go out. no yeah. exactly yeah. you're just at lick your job you're working <laughs> and also I give off very different to how I actually mm. am. I'm very quiet, mm-hmm. introvert, stay at home, yeah. mind my business. But everybody thinks I'm this like loud out Extreme there character. Yeah. yeah. But I'm the opposite. Yeah. I don't know. Was it you that said the other day, like you can you can't the more visible you are, you can't please everyone or something in the group chat. No, I think I said that like we can't separate ourselves from like people talking. Like people are always gonna have something yeah, to, say. Have something to yeah. say. They're always going to have something to say. Once you're there, once you're visible, they can see you. They're always gonna have something. To yeah, say. yeah. You know, and it's always in, well, not always, but a lot of it is negative. Yeah, sometimes we're. I know this especially time. now because like the Ruby Rose event, that was a sick event. Mm-hmm. Like one hundred percent, there is mm-hmm. no way that wasn't a good event. Yeah, yeah. but you'll still see people on TikTok being yeah. like, "Oh my god, it was so shit." Of course. Oh really? I haven't seen that on TikTok. I've seen good things on TikTok. Oh my god! But you'll see the like shit we get on TikTok few. every month, mm. like slating us. I'm like, you, you but are out of the thousands of people that are there. Fuck it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like thousands of people had a good time, so yeah. it's just a little amount of people. Mm. Yeah, and they always try. They're always gonna try it. They're always gonna try and cancel whatever. Even our first live show, someone tried. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, even before the live show even went. We even went over the building there, mm. and they already went to do a thread about the venue where mm. the live show was going to be, but they deleted it because somebody was like, "What are you doing? This is their first live show. Like, what are you doing?" Yeah, mm. and but people, people just I don't know. People just people are miserable. Weird. People just yeah. like to have something to moan yeah. about, and like, especially on places like TikTok because they know they get views for that. Mm. It's like mm. any negative reviews of Lick, they get loads of views. Yeah. Mm. Yep. That's so interesting. I haven't seen, I've only seen, I've seen like Sin saying that Ruby Rose was saying her name <laughs> on stage. I've seen that. Well, I've, I've, yeah, I've only seen Sin good is, things. Sin is actually deluded. <laughs> but I love her. I love Sin. You, you know Sin? No. Sin came to, came to the event that you came to as well. Yeah. At Amazing yeah. Grace. Mm. And she was on the Amazon show. You oh, know. yes, yes, okay. yes. Yeah, I know who you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. She's so funny. funny. You need to watch her TikTok. Yeah, I need to get on TikTok. I'm going to invite Sin. TikTok? It's so easy. No, yeah. We need to invite Sin as well. Yep. And we need to talk about Canada. It's okay. Get Sin on the 
in on the same time as me. Yeah, do you know what? That it would be a mad episode. <laughs> that would, that would Just be like a mad me gorilla episode. for like a full hour. That'd be great. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be crazy. But we've come to the end of our time. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. What do you want to let people know what's going on? Like what's happening next or anything? I'm taking a few months off. You deserve, you, you deserve it. Off New Year's Eve. Mm. So there's been no events off New Year's Eve. No. You, you actually deserve it. New Year's Eve then. You actually deserve it because mm-hmm. you be good. I mean, I'm not go. really going to take the time off because I've still got to plan the whole year. Yeah. yeah. But like, I just yeah. need yeah. to yeah. not think about it for a minute. A breather. Yeah. Are you going to not date anyone that time as well? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. Oh no, I meant absolutely not. As in, I will be. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, it's making sense. Mm. It's making sense. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. it. How was it? Oh, yeah, chill. Yeah. 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 Like, Listen, we need to plan this episode. So yeah, we, yeah, it's hard to chill with it. I'm still sweating from fucking jogging here an hour <laughs> yeah, ago. Because you know what, the lights make you hot. Yeah, that's oh, true. Right, yeah, that's the right. lights make you hot. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Make sure you use the hashtag Tutti's Podcast on Twitter. Make sure you rate and review us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you follow Lick. Yeah. And Teddy. And until next week, peace. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at that. <laughs>